Hello from Seoul. We've been traveling all around the Korean barbecue world. But you know what? We're not done yet. I think we still have 276 more to go. But today, you will see one of my favorites. Alright, are you guys ready? Let's get started. When you think of Korean barbecue, the first thing that comes to your mind will be probably pork belly or bulgogi. But there are so many more. So today, with this doenjang, Korean soybean paste, let's make makjeok, which is one of the most popular and very traditional Korean barbecues. But you don't have to be overwhelmed by the word traditional, because as always, with me, it's gonna be so simple and delicious. For this, you will need some pork belly and that's it. I'm not kidding, but without vegetables, we can't call it Korean barbecue, right? So I'm gonna be using some chives, not a grass from your backyard. For information, this is called Yongyang Buchu, which is a little bit thinner than the garlic chives. But even if you can get this, don't worry about it. Just use some garlic chives or green onions. No problem at all. Alright, let's prep our meat first. Get yourself 500 grams of pork belly and cut that into nice bite-sized pieces. Pork belly has a tendency to curve, but if you score them on both sides like this, trust me, you're gonna get more evenly cooked pork belly at the end. For information, besides this pork belly, you could also use some pork shoulder, pork loin, or anything you like. Because the doenjang marinade that we're gonna make later on will take care of everything. So just grab anything you want and try it. Don't worry about it. Everything will turn out fantastic. Now let's make the marinade. In a mixing bowl, combine 2.5 tablespoons of doenjang, Korean soybean paste, half a tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 3 tablespoons of mirin, 1 tablespoon of minced garlic, 1 tablespoon of corn syrup, 1 tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and mix together until it's well combined. So simple, right? Now to our marinade, add in our pork and give it a good massage. And then cover it with plastic wrap and give it some privacy in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. For information, if you let them have a nice vacation, like overnight, they will give you the best Korean barbecue experience. Just like Vessi provides the best comfortable experience that you're looking for. Vessi makes 100% waterproof sneakers that are lightweight, breathable, and incredibly comfortable. Not only that, they're so stylish. When you think of waterproof shoes, you may think like big clunky boots. But how about this? They look good, so you can literally wear them every day, right? I know you still can't believe it's 100% waterproof. At first, I was there too. But Vessi's Dime Attacks technology keeps water out and feet breathing, which means it will keep your feet warm during the winter and less sweat and heat escape in the summer. So whether you're going on a hike, running errands in the rain, going to the park with the kids, or just walking the dog, these are the best shoes for you. Vasi is not just waterproof shoes, they're incredibly stretchy, easy on and off, and super easy to clean. So whether it's sunny or rainy, you can wear them every day without worry. Yes, Vasi will make your life a lot easier and more comfortable. If you're interested in experiencing Vasi for yourself, go to the link in my description and use my code AaronClaire. You will get 15% off your order. You want to experience what real waterproof is with those stylish sneakers? Wherever you are, Vasi will be with you. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Vasi. This time, let's make muchim, a Korean-style salad. Take a big handful of chives and cut them into 2.5 inches long. Like I said earlier, if you can get this Yongyang Buchu, you can just use garlic chives or even green onions. So don't worry about it. What? You can get them either? Then get yourself some cucumber or any kind of leafy greens. Trust me, everything will be absolutely amazing. But if there are only chives in there, it's a little bit bland or a little bit boring. So I'm just gonna julienne some red chilies. They're really really mild ones, but if you don't like anything spicy, you can substitute with bell pepper. 
All right, for the dressing, in a small container, add one tablespoon of curry and chili pepper flakes, one and a half tablespoons of vinegar, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, half a tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds, half a tablespoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of fish sauce, and give it a good mix. What? You don't think you can handle this fish sauce? Don't worry about it. It's not gonna taste fishy, but full of umami. I promise. But if it tastes fish to you, you can come to my house and blame me. But can you come to Seoul? <laughs> anyway, pour it over the chives and give it a nice gentle toss. Yes, I said gentle. If you don't take my advice and squeeze it, you're not gonna get that beautiful chive salad that you're looking for. So please be gentle like handling a baby. Alright, it's time for the barbecue. In a large pan, add some oil, cut the bottom of the pan with paper towels, and heat it over medium heat. Once it gets nice and hot, place the pork belly and cook for about 5 to 6 minutes. Because of the denjang marinade, it can burn easily. So please keep an eye on this and try to flip them every few seconds. Otherwise, you're gonna end up with some charcoal or something. For information, if it's grilled over charcoal like the traditional way, it tastes even better. But since I'm living in the apartment, there's no way to do it. But if you have an awesome outdoor grill in your backyard, please give it a shot. This bad boy will give you the best Korean barbecue experience that you'll never forget. Finally, it's time to assemble. Let's get some rice into a bowl and add a generous amount of our beautifully cooked mac jug. It's a shame that I couldn't cook it on the grill, so I'm just gonna heat it with a blowtorch, but it's totally optional. Now all you have left is add some chive salad. That's it. What? You think something is missing? Alright, for our taste tester, who's an egg addict, let's put some beautifully cooked soft boiled egg, and then finish it up with some toasted sesame seeds. Alright, it's done. Let's call our taste tester. Claire. Woo, it's good. Denjang marinated pork. Sounds super delicious. I know your favorite Korean condiment is gochujang, but I feel doenjang is so underrated. Let's give it a try. 듬뿍 듬뿍 들어있어서 너무 맛있어 보이고 그리고 내가 좋아하는 이 차한 부분 약간 그을린 부분 너무 맛있어 보인다. Can wait. Cheers. Mmm, mmm, 맛있어. 내가 말한 것처럼 정말 된장은 너무 과소평가됐어. 아니 이렇게 맛있는 게왜 과소평가됐는지 정말 모르겠어. <웃음> 그냥 삼겹살만 먹어도 정말 맛있잖아. 그런데 된장에 재워지니까 그 된장의 그 짭조름한 맛 그리고 세이버리 풍미 깊은 맛이 고개 샥 배가지고 너무 맛있어. 그리고 원래 돼지고기 같은 경우는 시간이 좀 지나면 식으면서 좀 딱딱해지는 그런 구석이 있잖아. 그런데 이걸 된장에 재워놔서 그런지 시간이 조금 지났음에도 불구하고 아직도 촉촉하니 너무 맛있어. 맛있다. 너무 괜찮다. 이거 진짜 너무 추천이다. 돼지고기가 가지고 있는 그 매력을 잘 살려줄 수 있는 그런 레시피인 것 같아. 음, 한 번만 더. Nice and c h o r 이런 무침이 빠지면 코리안 바비큐가 아니지. 고급 한정식 집에서 주는 그런 부추무침 같아. 음, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. <웃음> Cheers. 음! 와 대박이네 진짜 맛있다 그냥 씹지도 않았는데 입에 싹 들어가는 순간 이 부추의 향긋함이 입안 가득 싹 퍼지면서 맛을 확 끌어준다 정말 맛있어 그리고 이 자체의 양념이 약간 새콤하잖아 그 약간의 산미가 들어가면서 원래 가지고 있던 맥주의 매력이 더두배세배 배 증가한 그런 느낌이야 와 진짜 잘 어울린다 They are match made in heaven 오 마이 갓 저거. <웃음> 아 이거 귀찮아도 해 먹어야겠는 걸? 이거 진짜 강력 추천. 와 너무 잘 어울린다. <웃음> 최고의 궁합인데? 와 이거 진짜 매력 포인트네. 공들인 보람이 있어. 음. Cheers. Go go go. 음. 이 맛이지. 와 진짜 맛있다. 뭐 어느 하나. 잡을 데가 없네. 자기 생각에는 내가 워낙 계란을 좋아하니까 이렇게 계란이 있으면 내가 좋아할 줄 알았겠지만 여긴 된장찌개가 있어야 돼. <웃음> 된장찌개를 가져와라. 그럼 안 들어. <웃음> Today I showed you how to make mekjeok, traditional Korean barbecue pork. How was it? 
It's much easier than you think, right? Since you know having a Korean barbecue at home is not that difficult, you will see the magic that every day becomes Korean barbecue day. Alright, this is it for today, and I'll see you next time.